Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick, wow, a quick reading. Okay. <laughs> Look what just fell out. A quick reading about love. Aquarius has been getting all these um, messages about you know someone's coming back or they'll meet someone so we're going to try to gain a little bit more clarity in regards to august uh, 2019 and see what is going on with and for the aquarius it looks like a lot and some really wow wow guys the bottom of the deck ace of pentacles knight of pentacles and the ace of cups so something or someone is coming in and they want this to happen for real they want stability with you they want love they want a new beginning to happen with you they want you to see them different uh see the situation different um this could have been a person you've you have history with this offer is or has been i guess once it comes it has been a long time coming like this person never offered you anything solid and stable and now they want to with the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles here let's put these back in the deck because i was just going to introduce the reading and uh those two cards flew out and uh then that card was at the bottom of the deck so aquarius you have something very solid stable and excuse me in love coming in for you this is really good for the Aquarius let's get into it so let's see how the Aquarius feels about love how does Aquarius feel about love okay first card how does the Aquarius feel about love okay Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So the Aquarius feels like they're ready to, to be in a partnership. They've done the work. There's a lot of maturity here. Um, they could be cross-cultural. They've learned. Um, they have a bit of, um, you know, rule and regimen about themselves. They, they uh, Their thinking is, is on a higher level. There's... Um, there could be an Aquarius who's well-traveled also. Or they're ready to partner with someone and do all of those things. Or at least travel and, and uh, explore what the world has to offer. Okay, so how does the, Aqu the Aquarius feel about love? Ten of Cups. Wow, the Will of Fortune. And the Strength card. So the Aquarius feels like there is some masculine energy here. Their long-term goal here is happiness, fulfillment, having a family dynamic here. It could be same-sex, it could be heterosexual um, relationship. This could be a masculine energy, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio uh, that the Aquarius wants to have this with or there isn't a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming in. Um, the Aquarius is ready to have the culmination of um the highest level of happiness here the aquarius feels like there is um good news on the way that their luck has shifted and changed um things don't look like you know things have things are changing for the aquarius or it doesn't feel that way or maybe it doesn't look that way but it kind of feels you feel the energy but it says that luck is out of our control. We don't get to control luck. We just know that it's with us, right? So you don't get to control how things happen. Um, the Aquarius feels like they have stood strong in their convictions. Knowing that if they did just that, it would get them or land them in that right place that they have. That idealistic place that they have for themselves. This is just about maybe in the past things were chaotic hurtful toxic betrayal loss third party and it was the aquarius having the strength to come out of that to walk alone tame yourself in regards to maybe not dealing with lower vibrational energy and know that if you stay convicted 
to this newfound you, you would have the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. And you definitely are the Nine of Pentacles. This is awesome, Aquarius. You, this is very, very, very good. Okay, so let's see. Let's ask the cards how... You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, anyone. How does this person coming in, old or new, how do they feel about the Aquarius? How does this person come in? Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Nine and then the ten. <laughs> this person wants so this is once again masculine energy this person feels like it's long-term goals can be f fulfilled with you or you are the fulfillment of a long-term goal um they feel like they can have a lot of stability with you of course the family but not only that they can have you know longevity and legacy with you they feel like it's a good reputation with you. Wow, they feel, this is how they feel about you. The Queen of Pentacles. They feel like you're solid, you're stable, you make good decisions, you care about yourself, your body, what you put in your body, what you do with your body, you care about the home. There's an air of luxury about you. Uh, but even, even in that, there is also a sense of groundedness. Okay. You could be a working mother here. How does this person coming in? How do I feel about you? Five of Cups. So this definitely could be someone that you you already know. There's significant history here. They could be missing you. They could be um, they they're dwelling on the fact that maybe when they were dealing with you, you guys were together. It was a lot of drama. Maybe it was drama that they caused. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It could be anyone. But this is a person who caused a lot of discord and dissension and just drama. There might have been a love affair. There was childlike behavior and games played. There was a lot of romance. But that's all they had to offer. And they may be looking at the situation saying, okay, well... You know, I feel bad of how I treated the Aquarius. Um, they're they're crying over what they are, what is already done. I'm not realizing that maybe there's an opportunity to come toward you and at least apologize, close doors, or move forward. All right, at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles. They really want to ground this energy. Um, so this is how your person feels. They want to, once again, apologize. Come in and make things right, equal. They're making the choice to give to the connection that they they probably didn't give to in the past. This is a past person. Um, I'll pull a card for a new person. Because some of you may have new people coming in and no one from the past. Um... Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they they um they could be wanting to change. We're saying that they have changed. They understand that there has to be an equal give and take. Now they want that with you and for you. Okay. For a new person coming in, for my Aquarius, that will have someone new. What can they expect? For the Aquarius that has someone new coming in, what can they expect? Oh, God, thank you. The Hermit, they can't, you might, can, my single Aquarius, okay, so you're going to read it like, um, two nine cards, um, so maybe the person coming in, is very um, they may be coming off of a break from someone you might want to question this person's mental health it 
It says that this person might bring you a bit of anxiety, but the the answer is you you'll be looking for answers outside of yourself, but it comes from within you. Hmm. This person may come with a bit of mystery about themselves. They may be um, a little bit older than you, more experienced, and and so they cause you a bit of mental upset in regards to what it is they really want from you. But yeah, their actions will be kind of wonky. So just know that if what you're thinking about them is hey they're kind of flighty they're in and out they're this or they're that then that's the answer because it's the answer comes from within you maybe and then another way to read this is that some of you my single people had you need to learn some lesson here you need to draw in on past experience and understand that um you have to deal with some mental anguish before you can move forward completely release and then have true happiness okay this looks really good Aquarius what we're gonna do is pull I think I'm gonna pull angel answers and then we're gonna go over to the website and we're gonna ask the question what does it look like what first of all what is keeping you two apart from each other and then we'll ask the question of what it looks like when you come together. Okay. What are the barriers between you two? We'll also try to gather a timeline. You know. Let's see. What advice can you leave the Aquarius with? It's up to you. Hmm. Aquarius, are you you're playing a part in this? A big part in this? Abundance. Wow. Bottom of the deck, success. Aquarius, this is very, very, very good. Um, let's head on over to the website and kind of clarify what's going on. What are the barriers between you too what it is you need to do what it is they need to do and then what it looks like when you finally come together okay and for my single people who are not waiting on anyone or you know that no one's coming from the past let's talk about what it is you need to do to get over this this mental upset or anguish okay all right so aquarius all links to the extended read or to get your own personal reading are below take advantage of that 20 dollar two question reading um guess you, if you know that you just want some quick answers twenty dollars for two questions the link is below thank you take care aquarius stay in prayer bye